Good evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. My name is Egbert Edlington. Tonight, I shall be communicating with the spirit realm to bring you messages and correspondence from beyond the grave. Ah, oh, yes, I have a name coming through now. Horace. His first name is Horace. Last name, Cope. Horace Cope. Horace Cope. Does anyone here know of a Horace Cope? Hor Horace Cope. Um, excuse me one moment, ladies and gentlemen. You're having me on, aren't you? You're sobbing my laugh. You're sobbing my laugh. Horace Cope. Come on, who is it? Who is it? It's that bloody Fred Simpkins again, isn't it? You're always doing this. You're ruining my act. You really are. I mean, landing a perfectly innocently, trying to provide messages from the deceased that look ones in the audience, and you come here taking the piss. <laughs> oh, I haven't forgotten that time at Woodfield Social Club last month. You made me look right, Burke. That lady in the front row. Her loved one's name is David, you told me. He misses her regular walks in the park and cuddles on the sofa. You didn't tell me David was the name of her dog, did you? <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, spirits are not being quite so uh, cooperative tonight. <clears throat> now, I will communicate with my spirit guide from the other side, Bob. From beyond the grave! Ah, Bob, I am reaching out to you through from this earthly domain into the great afterlife. Can you hear me? Bob. Bob. What do you mean he's not in? <laughs> <laughs> well, he should be. Well, who are you? What were you agreed he was working with me tonight? Uh, well, yes, yes, all right, yes. Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. <coughs> <sighs> ah, Bob, where the hell have you been? Well, yes, I realise you're not actually in hell. I mean, you are a spirit, you, you may have been, I don't know. Look, we agreed you were working with me this evening. What do you mean you're working with Sally Morgan instead? <laughs> Just because she's on the telly, is it? Is that the reason? We agreed you were working with me this evening. Yes, we did. Look, look I've got my diary here. <clears throat> and we clearly say you're working with me this evening, 6th of May, Friday, at the Doncaster Little Theatre. <clears throat> well, you should have written it down then. Yes, well, I know it's difficult to hold a pen when you're a spirit, but that's beside the point. God. You should have told me about this. I mean, listen, that's another thing. Back when I advertised those gigs on my website a couple of years ago, Egbert Edlington foretells your future, tour commencing March 23rd, 2020. Well, you know what happened on March 23rd, don't you? Bloody coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> it's your job to keep me informed about things like that. And do you know what I have to put on the website? Do you? Shows cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances. Now yeah, that was good for us to tidy, wasn't it? But it's the last time we're using your services, mate. And furthermore, who are you? What do you mean you're here for Sally's audience? Bob's supposed to be working with me tonight, and you give out of this, Bob. I don't care if you've got a message from someone in Sally's audience. Please leave this chat. Now, Bob. Bob? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> <laughs>